everybody welcome to my channel welcome to my channel welcome first time watchers if this is your first time of stopping by my channel welcome on board but where have you guys been though i mean in my daughter's voice we are in my first daughter's voice where have you guys been though <laughs> so um to my first time watchers you're going to be seeing me on my first catch out episode this year so welcome on board please don't just subscribe or don't just um watch this please subscribe and build a castle here like share as well leave your comments below as well join the family we are the progressive grand family we keep progressing there's no better yesterday here it's proverbs 4 18 all the way 360 in every area of our lives they can attest to it the people who have been here right <laughs> so um i need to start doing more lives I've been saying that but yes i will by god's grace and to my usuals thank you so much for coming back to watch your girl remember i don't take it for granted i don't take it for granted <laughs> let's all go musical here so today's episode for my newcomers um on my channel like beginning from this year i'm starting a thing of having like a structure a series for every month and so this month of january we've been treating the starting ship and the starting ship here we've established from last week that that is the place of fellowship and fellowship comprises of worship prayer and meditation my faith family and friendship um content creator technically so i create content around faith um the seven spheres of influence, mountains of influence is still under faith because religion is there. And there's uh, family, which is also under there and then friendship as well. So I create content around there. So I speak more and conversations as well on those things. So I don't need to do much intro here. If you want to find out more about me, just go watch my other videos. I talk a lot, honestly, I do talk a lot. So be ready for that. And um, I'm always here and there when it comes to talking. I love branching in and out of topics, but at the same time, there's always something for you to take home here. Mm, there's always the package, you know. Sometimes you need to dissect some with knives, with, you know, with all your cutleries. For, while sometimes you just need your spoon and then you'll be fed. Just, just do it. Do you, do you, do you, do it the way you decide to. That's fine. So on today's episode, we're continuing the, up, uh, the first, um, we're continuing our topic on the starting ship and i have the subtitle for this week which we can all read below or you've seen on the thumbnail as well which is us really discussing the difference between the routine and the relationship when it comes to this establishing a fellowship uh you know the difference between routine and routine versus relationship and also corporately um Dis discussing the difference between the presence versus the programs so if you're interested in you know finding out what i'm about to share about this it's going to be beneficial actually to many of us especially even for me myself i always by the way if you're a newcomer here i always actually <laughs> watch myself i always go back to watch the videos because sometimes i feel i'm not really serving you know everybody alone i'm also serving myself just so um this is more of like an accountability platform for me myself as well for my growth and my journey in progressing so anyways um so now when we talk about um housing housing the routine versus the presence housing the routine versus the relationship so housing here i'm not um specifically just referring to a physical space maybe that will come under the corporate one where we talk about presence versus program but here i'm discussing the housing of the routine and the relationship uh remember we've established that fellowship here yeah we're talking about fellowship with the holy spirit in growing progressing in our relationship with god and of course fellowship when we talk about fellowship many of us know that prayer is involved so yes it's more like you know that's relationship the prayer relationship if you didn't get to see the previous episode please you need to actually watch it either before this so you can catch up on it after this episode so you can understand uh, some of the terms and some of the words i may be juggling here and there so we established last week that the starting ship comprises of the worship the prayer and you know meditation and so when we talk about our sin the routine versus the relationship which is the personal as a person as for me myself right and you yourself uh i was in the routine versus the relationship what are the things we need to know and uh corporately as well for the corporate body the body of christ there's the house in the presence the presence of god versus housing 
the programs so of course we know that they are connected routine relationship they are connected the only difference is that you graduate from one to one so you can start with having a routine you know you can in the place of worship you can uh, fellowship rather in planning for fellowship you can start with having a routine where we know that oh every day like i spoke um sometime last year when i did um a video on prayer where you have like a schedule but then again, please don't be fixated on the schedule. Sometimes the Holy Spirit may warrant you to pray or intercede or drop things in your mind. Don't say, oh, because you pray by 3 p.m., that is your routine. So that's something else, one of the points I needed to drop regarding routine. And that is where the difference comes from when you're housing. Housing here, I'm talking about we ourselves. Uh, we are the we are the houses we are the our bodies the temple of god ourselves our minds our hearts the heart you know we are the ones housing the either the routine or the relationship so you graduate from routine to relationship we believe that we're not supposed to remain in that realm of routine we need to graduate to the place of relationship where the holy spirit will then tell you that sometimes he, okay maybe he wants to commune this way because the thing with routine then is it becomes systematic which is good because especially if we are still growing like we said like we established that we graduate from one to one right um yeah so you grow from you know having that timetable to you know but the thing with routine though it now becomes quite um too systematic that you are all about the doing of it the doing like oh i need to tick off that i prayed this morning or you know i had my quiet time this morning you know you are now about just the doing the ticking you know the attendance compared to you being about the the person the experience in the place of relationship when you graduate to relationship when you know that uh, it's just uh, let me give a, an example of um maybe parents who you know you have routines for your kids and um the routine is oh we do readings we do readings before going to bed and we just stick it so imagine so just picture this picture you uh doing it under pressure and under rush that oh let's just read and then the child is unable to connect with you but if it's from the place of a relationship that okay you want to know understand okay the words that your uh, children are using faster or they are picking faster or you want to understand you know how your children are picking emotions in the things you're reading you know there's a way you can um sense if the child is understanding what's going on in whatever you're reading so sometimes um yeah so and that's where the place of relationship is because you're into you're more into the relationship establishing a connection with the person you're fellowshipping with and that's where you know uh the difference comes in yes we should start with having a routine we should start with uh, building a uh a process for for ourselves for us to be able to maintain but let's not you know just um be fixated on that let's not remain on that level you know it's i always say this and i still said it sometimes um i think sometimes Sometimes this month in one of my prayer groups where i see i shared that yes the lord wants us to start with you know let a uh, light so shine like let it be a candle um you know he wants us to start with a candle or maybe with a lamp or maybe with a matchstick some of us you know but the lord does not want us to remain in that level of just shining only day where you are going around and you're still holding your matchstick this way or your candle that oh please don't let you know the lord doesn't want us to remain in that level he wants us to shine where you know we are now the street lights uh we are now you know we are shining everywhere and and that is and that is same thing here like you have to graduate from the place of just having a routine of having um you know the, uh, we do one one a.m to this a.m you know to a place where when it calls you you know that it's calling for you right so that is it for the physical for the i mean for the personal person on a personal level now let's graduate to a corporate level so this is for many of us who host events or programs or we have church activities and the likes so the lord wants us this year particularly to graduate from the place of hosting or housing programs to housing and hosting his presence because it's in his presence that you know there is impactation it's in his presence that uh, there is revelation of who jesus is to individuals because imagine just having programs just going you know just repetitive uh we do this every day we do this every every month and everything and there's really no impact that is actually pure wasting of people's time and destinies and even glories and the reason why i'm sharing this is to not not necessarily pressure or maybe i shouldn't use the word pressure this is to awaken us i mean awaken us as a body as a body of christ to know that 
Christianity is no jokes. Being kingdom is no jokes. It's not something that you just feel uh, is based on the way we do it and the likes. No, please, we cannot base it because these are people's destinies. Destinies are tied to those institutions, those things. And so when people come to receive, we want to actually make sure that the presence of God is being hosted, is being housed in such events we don't want it to be just a repetitive thing where there is no impartation and you know when the presence of the lord is somewhere when it's evident there are certain things that even the minister or the worshipers there there are certain things there's there are certain things that they don't need to stretch why because the presence is there the presence is the one, you know, taking charge, taking charge of the atmosphere. So I just want to encourage us that beyond us saying we are housing programs and housing events, housing activities here and there, you know, um, let's deliberately house the presence of the Lord. And it starts from the, like we said, it starts from the uh, individual persons. You know, imagine us all coming together we are i mean we are burning individually and then so we come together of course we are going to shine we're going to shine the lights will shine the presence will be evident but when we when we take our personal you know fellowship with the holy spirit when we take it with you know we don't take it the way we ought to take it when we feel just like a jessica about it i mean that is when we see the accuser of the brethren you know let me just give an example imagine if you're praying um um we as the body of christ you we that we are kingdom you know we are praying for the kingdom of god for nations to bow to you know to the kingdom of god to the name of god and um we want to take over we want to take over territories we want to take over the the um, parliament and everything we want them to you know bring laws and policies in line with god and then we are praying and praying about it and we are saying lord look at these people they are not doing this and the likes and we are your children we need to arise and the likes but then again is you're you're speaking that because you are accusing them for doing the wrong thing and imagine the accuser of the brethren himself saying ah look at the person that is prayed the same person that is accusing was the one that told the lie yesterday was the one that went to tear down his brother and his sister just because the brother and his sister is you know is is uh shining it was the one that was gossiping yesterday. Ah, look at the man of God that is trying to tell us to take over. That, it's, look at the people that want to take over the world. They are the ones tearing themselves apart. You know, imagine that is what the accuser is actually doing. And that is why there is less power. There is less um, presence of the Lord. And so it is important for us to know that for us to graduate to that corporate level where we are able to house his presence, we need to be able to house a relationship with him, a, a consistent relationship in the place of fellowship. And I hope that this is a wake-up call for myself and you as well to rise up, to keep cruising this ship that the Lord Almighty has given unto us. Remember, it's the starting ship, but it's also the ending ship. Because it says, Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. This is the only master key we have. So please let us rise up and not be like a desk about it. In our prayers, in our fellowship, and in maintaining that relation, sustaining that relationship. And in sustaining it, we know that there's need for the fruit of the spirit. Okay? I hope to see you guys on my next episode. Me on Progressive Ground with Tabula by Grace. Either in form of car chat or house chats however it is all right and until then keep progressing guys bye for now